fifth graders, so this week we are starting order of operations. So order of operations is just a fancy way um, of saying that we want to be able to have a system in place where everyone in the world is going to solve a problem the same way. No matter what school you're at, no matter what country you're in, everyone's going to solve the same way. So if we look at this, right away I might think, okay, I'm going to do 7 plus 6 and I'm going to divide that by 2 and then I'm going to subtract 1. But that's actually not how we're going to do it. So we have a little cheat sheet here that tells us the order that we need to look at things. So first we start with parentheses, then we move into exponents, then we've got multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And multiplication and division can be kind of flip-flopped, and so can addition and subtraction. We move from left to right and look at things, which is why these two might come out of place during some problems, but we'll go over that too. So we worked a lot last week with exponents, um, and our problems for um, today are going to involve more parentheses problems, and we're going to work up by the end of the week to be doing problems with all of these in it. So if we look at our problem today, we have um, we do have parentheses in our problem. So that's where we're going to start. So I like to have um, two different colors if I'm on a whiteboard, but it works just as well if you're using the exact same pen or pencil at home on your pieces of paper. So I'm going to just keep this kind of down here. Um, so I need to start with my parentheses. So I have to see what is inside the first and the closing parentheses, and I have 6 times 2. I know that 6 times 2 equals 12. And then that's why I use a different color, just so I can show what's different, but you definitely don't need to do that at home. Um, now I'm going to just fill in the rest, so 7 plus 12 minus 1. So I know that... 7 plus 12 is 19, and then if I subtract 1 from 19, I get 18. So the answer to my problem is 18. So let's try a different problem. Let's do... Let's do 25 minus four times three. So I'm not starting with 25 minus four. I have parentheses here. So right away I know I need to solve what's inside of the parentheses. So I'm gonna do four times three I know is also, oh, I've got a 12 again. So now I have 25 minus 12. Now that 25 minus 12 equals 13. So my answer is 13. Let's do another practice problem here. We're going to do 4 plus 2 times So here I've got my parentheses, so I know that 2 times 2, sorry, this it almost looks like a plus sign here. I know that 2 times 2 equals 4. And I know that 4 plus 4 equals 8. So let me also show you why do we have to do it in this order? Why can't we do 4 plus 2 times 2? If we were to do just move straight from left to right and ignore our PEMDAS down here, um, we would get 4 plus 2 would be 8, or I'm sorry, 4 plus 2 would be 6, 6 times 2 would be 12. And that is not the correct answer, that's not the answer that we got in the first place. So it's really important that we stick to using our PEMDAS, a great way that I remember the order of these, the order of my operations, is I say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So 
So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's just a handy way that I remember it. Um, this chart I am going to have on your slideshow today as well, just as a friendly reminder. But remember, today we're really just focusing um, on problems involving parentheses, and then we are going to work up to some more difficult problems by the end of the week.